Now investigators say a home that exploded in Atlantic County is being treated as a crime scene. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. We know at least two people are dead tonight, two hurt and two more people are missing. Seanette Wilson at the scene in this neighborhood. Seanette, what can you tell us? Well, Jason, police say that right now this is, in fact, a criminal investigation. But when pressed about why or the cause, investigators would not say. We are checking the rubble for uh, and attempting to recover two bodies at this point. Okay. Tonight, investigators continue to search for the remaining bodies of those killed in an explosion that sent ripples of destruction through part of the community. A one-year-old female has been flown to St. Christopher's and is in critical condition. A 16-year-old female has also been flown to St. Christopher's and is currently in stable condition. Police say they are among six people who were at the home on the 300 block of Northwest Boulevard in Buna Township this morning when the blast happened after 1030. The others include a two and a half year old boy, a three and a half year old girl and two men ages 52 and 73. The bodies of two of them have been recovered. Police aren't saying which. The house started shaking and then they sounded like scary or something. 12-year-old Sergio Dominguez was home two streets over when he heard and felt the explosion. I rushed to see outside the window and there was um, smoke coming out of the house. Our crew on the scene after the blast this morning got this cell phone video, which shows that smoke billowing from the home and raging flames. The home leveled. Homes were initially evacuated. Some had utilities turned off or damaged. Investigators say at least two homes are condemned. When I was standing in the kitchen, my windows had blown out in my bedroom and in my in my kitchen. Tyler Stewart was lucky to get out without being hurt. His house is one of the condemned. He lives next door to the house where the explosion happened. They're still cleaning up anything that could be harmful. After hours of waiting, we asked investigators if they could assist him in getting out his four cats left behind. He and his friend Jake Magnin rescued this one named Buddy. The other three, he says, were afraid and hiding for now. After waiting how, many, how long, finally being able to check that they were alive and well, did feel a lot better. Tonight, police are asking residents for any uh, ring cam video, even cell phone video that may give them clues as to what happened in the moments leading up to this explosion. The Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office, FBI, ATF, and of course, Franklin Township Police, Jason, all a part of this investigation. All right, we'll stay on top of that one. Seanette, thank you very much. And breaking right